Welcome to St. Helena Ministries Daily Prayer with the Divine Office. Today is Saturday of the sixth week of Easter. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, ye heavens adore him. Praise him, angels in the height. Sun and moon rejoice before him. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise the Lord, for he has spoken. Worlds his mighty voice obeyed. Laws which never shall be broken, for their guidance he has made. Praise the Lord, for he is glorious. Never shall his promise fail. God has made his saints victorious. Sin and death shall not prevail. Praise the God of our salvation. Hosts on high his power proclaim. Heaven and earth and all creation praise and magnify his name. Worship, honor, Glory, blessing, Lord, we offer unto thee, young and old, thy praise expressing, in glad homage bend the knee. All the saints in heaven adore thee, we would bow before thy throne. As thine angels serve before thee, so on earth thy will be done. Remember us, O Lord, come with your saving help. Alleluia. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good for his love endures forever. Who can tell the Lord's mighty deeds? Who can recount all his praise? They are happy who do what is right, who at all times do what is just. O Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. Come to me, Lord, with your help, that I may see the joy of your chosen ones, and may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, and share the glory of your people. Our sin is the sin of our fathers. We have done wrong, our deeds have been evil. Our fathers, when they were in Egypt, paid no heed to your wonderful deeds. They forgot the greatness of your love, that the Red Sea defied the Most High. Yet he saved them for the sake of his name, in order to make known his power. He threatened the Red Sea, it dried up, and he led them through the deep as through the, de- as through the desert. He saved them from the hand of the foe, He saved them from the grip of the enemy. The waters covered their oppressors. Not one of them was left alive. Then they believed in his words. Then they sang his praises. But they soon forgot his deeds and would not wait upon his will. They they yielded to, to their cravings in the desert and put God to the test in the wilderness. He granted them the favor they asked and sent disease among them. Then they rebelled, envious of Moses and of Aaron, who was holy to the Lord. The earth opened up and swallowed up Dathan and buried the clan of Abiram. Fire blazed up against their clan and flames devoured the rebels. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Remember us, O Lord. Come with your saving help. Alleluia. Keep it carefully in mind. The Lord your God has made a covenant with you. Alleluia. 
They fashioned a calf at Horeb and worshipped an image of metal, exchanging the God who was their glory for the image of a bull that eats grass. They forgot the God who was their Savior, who had done such great things in Egypt, such portents in the land of Ham, such marvels at the Red Sea. For this he said he would destroy them, but Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in the breach before him to turn back his anger from destruction. Then they scorned the land of promise. They had no faith in his word. They complained inside their tents and would not listen to the voice of the Lord. So he raised his hand to swear an oath that he would lay them low in the desert, would scatter their sons among the nations, and disperse them throughout the lands. They bowed before the Baal of Peor, ate offerings made to a lifeless gods. They roused him to anger with their deeds, and a plague broke out, broke out among them. Then Phinehas stood up and intervened. Thus the plague was ended, and this was counted in his favor from age to age forever. They provoked him at the waters of Meribah. Through their fault it went ill with Moses, for they made his heart grow bitter, and he uttered words that were rash. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Keep it carefully in mind. The Lord your God has made a covenant with you. Alleluia. Save your people, Lord. Bring us together from among the nations. Alleluia. They failed to destroy the peoples as the Lord had given command, but instead they mingled with the nations and learned to act as they did. They worshipped the idols of the nations, and these became a snare to entrap them. They even offered their own sons and their daughters in sacrifice to demons. They shed the blood of the innocent, the blood of their sons and daughters, whom they offered to the idols of Canaan. The land was polluted with blood. So they defiled themselves by their deeds and broke their marriage bond with the Lord, till his anger blazed against his people. He was filled with horror at his chosen ones. So he gave them into the hand of the nations, and their foes became their rulers. Their enemies became their oppressors. They were subdued beneath their hand. Time after time he rescued them, but in their malice they dared to defy him, and sank low through their guilt. In spite of this, he paid heed to their distress, so often as he heard their cry. For their sake he remembered his covenant, in the greatness of his love he relented, and he let them be treated with mercy by all who helped them captive. O Lord, our God, save us. Bring us together from among the nations, that we may thank your holy name, and make it our glory to praise you. Blessed be the God of Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, forever, from age to age. Let all the people cry out, Amen, Amen, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, our Creator, how wonderfully you made man. You transformed dust into your own image, and gave it a share in your own nature. Yet you are more wonderful in pardoning the man who had rebelled against you. Grant that where sin has abounded, grace may more abound, that we can become holier through forgiveness and be more grateful to you. Save your people, Lord. Bring us together from among the nations. Alleluia. My whole body rejoices. Alleluia. With all my strength I will praise my God. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of the Apostle John. Little children, let us love in deed and in truth, and not merely talk about it. This is our way of knowing we are committed to the truth, and are at peace before Him, no matter what our consciences may charge us with, for God is greater than our hearts, and all is known to Him. Beloved, if our consciences have nothing to charge us with, we can be sure that God is with us and that we will receive at His hands whatever we ask. Why? Because we are keeping His commandments and doing what is pleasing in His sight. His commandment is this, we are to believe in the name of His Son, Jesus Christ, 
and are to love one another as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And this is how we know that he remains in us, from the Spirit that he gave us. All who keep God's commandments live in God and God lives in them. We know that he dwells in us by the Spirit he has given us. Alleluia. In his Holy Spirit, God created wisdom, which he has poured forth upon all creation and has offered to those who love him. We know that he dwells in us by the Spirit he has given us. Alleluia. A reading from a homily on the Song of Songs by St. Gregory of Nyssa, Bishop. When love has entirely cast out fear, and fear has been transformed into love, then the unity brought us by our Savior will be fully realized, for all men will be united with one another through their union with the one supreme good. They will possess the perfection ascribed to the dove, according to our interpretation of the text. One alone is my dove, my perfect one. She is the only child of her mother, her chosen one. Our Lord's words in the Gospel bring out the meaning of this text more clearly. After having conferred all power on his disciples by his blessing, he obtained many other gifts for them by his prayer to the Father. Among these was included the greatest gift of all, which was that they were no longer to be divided in their judgment of what was right and good, for they were all to be united to the one supreme good. As the Apostle says, they were to be bound together with the bonds of peace in the unity that comes from the Holy Spirit. There they were to be made one body and one spirit by the one hope to which they were all called. We shall do better, however, to quote the sacred words of the gospel itself. I pray, the Lord says, that they may all be one, that as you, Father, are in me and I am in you, so they also may be one in us. Now the bond that creates this unity is glory. That the Holy Spirit is called glory no one can deny if he thinks carefully about the words of the Lord. The, the glory you gave to me, I have given to them. In fact, he gave this glory to his disciples when he said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Although the, he, he had always possessed it, even before the world existed, he himself received this glory when he put on human nature. Then, when his human nature had been glorified by the Spirit, the glory of the Spirit was passed on to all his kin, beginning with his disciples. This is why he said, The glory you gave to me, I have given to them, so that they may be one as we are one. With me and them and you and me, I want them to be perfectly one. Whoever has grown from infancy to manhood and attained to spiritual maturity possesses the mastery over his passions and the purity that makes it possible for him to receive the glory of the Spirit. He is that perfect dove upon whom the eyes of the bridegroom rest when he says, One alone is my dove, my perfect one. I no longer call you servants. Instead, I call you friends, for you have seen all the things I have done among you. Receive the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, whom the Father will send you. Alleluia. You are my friends if you do what I command you. Receive the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, whom the Father will send you. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father, help us keep in mind that Christ our Savior lives with you in glory and promised to remain with us until the end of time. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord and give him thanks. Thank you for praying with me today. Don't forget to join us for our Sunday Rosary live stream. It is at 6 p.m. Eastern Time every Sunday on our YouTube channel. The link is in the episode description. If this podcast is blessing you, please prayerfully consider supporting our ministry. You can do this in a few ways. First, share it with your friends and family. It is available on most of the major platforms. 
If you can support us financially, please go to buymeacoffee.com slash St. Helena. That link is in the description as well. Third, please pray for us and know of our continuing prayers for you. Have a blessed day.